I was talking to Brother Uch about this. In uh, in a, in, a, in the, we went to my dad's house the other day, and we had you know that was a two hour drive, so we had two hours to talk about this shit. That fucking car ride went flying by because we were talking Dragon Ball, <laughs> right? And we was talking, I was talking about all this stuff, right? And I and I and I helped him understand that the reason why villains are loved and appreciated, adored, like cherished defended against is 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 based on what they do who they mess up who they are destroying what kind of resume do they bring to this villain application right if if you have a villain any villain right it doesn't matter who your favorite is right but if they come into the show and they make their presence known and they fucking wipe out x amount of planets x amount of people they take a few names that are known that person that villain is a force to be reckoned with and that makes people pay attention and that makes people aware and ready like oh don't sleep on this character because they did this that and the other thing and then yep. it gets to the point where then they fight our main characters and based on whatever they do to them is what is what makes uh, it, it's what helps the deciding factor with fans to 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 realistically like kind of put them in like a, a class like a tier like this is how strong and this is how much of a threat this character is in comparison to this character like Frieza to this day is so popular not just because he was like realistically the first big bad of Dragon Ball Z but it was because this guy has been a part of the history of why the Saiyans are not even around. Because he Facts. he wiped them all out. He took Facts. out the main character's race. That is always... he's He will always have that against Cell, Majin Buu, Spopovich, <laughs> Babidi. Yo, like, yo, yo, chill, chill. Yeah. <laughs> like, he, he's gonna, he gonna have... He's, he's going to have that against every single villain that ever comes through, no matter what. Even And that's why I like comparing Moro to Frieza, because they're almost similar. They're almost identical. But Moro is almost like he's taking that to the next level. He's not just wiping out like one like very notable race. Like he's, he's He take... took out the Dragon Ball Avengers. Yeah, he did. He, he took them all out. Like... By himself. I mean, yeah, he had obviously he had like his power ups and stuff, but like, what villain don't have power ups? That's facts. You know, like that's just a part of it. That's a part of the formula. That's a part of the the recipe yep. to yep, yep. writing a, a like a great villain. But when you have a character that has superseded any villain, that automatically that has superseded everything. Yeah, yeah, it superseded everything. That automatically makes any villain worthless and yes. at that point what am i what am i trying to get at i'm trying to get at the interest level in said story lessens it becomes almost because worthless predictable. yes like you know the hero is gonna win in the end give us a villain that's gonna change the meta right and if you have if you have the villains as they are now and you have goku as he is now in order to keep the interest levels high in you know fans to attract new fans potentially to dragon ball as a whole you cannot have goku stick around anymore and you can't have him play the role that he has had for the last 30 years you can't because if you do people are just going to lame out dragon ball more so than they have ever before Goku cannot this is the this is the part in the story overall where they have to change it up because if they don't there's no point they could literally get to after Moro's done they could go right to end of Z they can have the they can have the world tournament they can introduce like three-year-old Pan or however old she is they can introduce Oob they can have exactly how the end of Z played out where Goku's like yo I sent uh Majin Buu in this kid Oh, his name's Oob? Dude, that's Boo backwards. 
what a coincidence. This can't be a coincidence. That's it. They can have all that still play out the way it plays out. They can have Goku sense this freaking, this, this dude's potential, his power that is uh, resting within him. And they, 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 they fly away, they disqualify each other, whatever, because they're out of bounds and they have to, the show must continue. And that's how Z mm -hmm. ends. If yeah. they, listen, if, if, if they do this still, this is the perfect opportunity for Yo, Goku. He could pass that. Huh? He could pass that. What do you mean he could pass that? Oh, yeah, exactly. He could pass the torch. He has to. He has to. Yo. He has he to. pass that. He pass the torch. Forget Gohan. The Gohan's done. He's got a daughter. He's chilling. He's great Saiyan man forever, okay? <laughs> Oob, that's the best way to fucking put it yeah oob is is the next one he's the next guy make the fucking story now be around oob goku has fulfilled his role for 30 years let him go let him go as 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 hard or as difficult as it might seem it, it, that's a big pill to swallow for a lot of you guys right now that might be listening but just hear me out i just yeah, I just, like, backing up on that, like, I agree with Uch, like, y'all gotta let Goku go, like, he's definitely, he, I'm not, like, he is the baddest one around, like, he's the best there is, hands down, I'm not complaining, I'm not arguing with that, even in the slightest, all I'm saying, he's got way, way too much time, he's got way too many people on his list, like, his, his resume is so fulfilled that he needs to just retire and give other people a chance. That's all we're asking for. Dude, and exactly. honestly, like the reason we're asking for it is because it's like, you know what? Don't get me wrong. I love Goku as one of my all time favorite characters and just like anime and just like, you know, all things fantasy in general. But you got to think about it. We watch this man go from child to Saiyan, Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 3, 4, just gonna slide that in there. Uh -huh. And then God and everything else. Like we saw Goku approach God levels and literally catch a hand chop from Beerus and it put him from Super Saiyan 3 all the way to KO. And now Beerus is looking at him said, wow, the way you fight is godlike. Mm -hmm. This dude put Goku to rest. Just let somebody else have a shot. Right. Just let it be. I don't care if Goku's the mentor. I don't care if he comes in to like help out occasionally, whatever. But let let him like, like yo, he's godlike. Let him be with Whis, enjoy their food while they watch the show from now on. Ex dude, one hundred percent. Like that's that is exactly what needs to happen. Like Goku, whether he fulfills this mentor role or whether he decides to become the god of destruction, or he, you know, he 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 takes on some kind of godly presence. And that's the role that he wants to fulfill. I mean, look, he could even be another, he could be Universe 7's Jiren, where he is at that level, but decided to turn down the position. He doesn't, yeah. he doesn't need that title to prove that he He's is the best. He's not going to take the title. I just want him to take the back seat. I don't care about yes, the title. Yes, yes. I'm just using that like as a, you know, just like sideline yourself, Goku. Look, I don't even want him to just be the back seat, bro. I want him to be the caboose to the entire train. I want him to be Yo, at the him very in the nose bleeds. <laughs> nose bleeds, son. <laughs> he needs to be all the way back there because th look, as and and here's the thing. I know this must be this must hurt a lot of Goku purists and Goku fans, okay? Let me just make one thing clear. I fucking love Goku. Yep, a same. lot a lot of us love Goku, okay? Goku is always going to be in people's top whatever, okay? Yep. Even if this guy is flawed, eats chicken all the time and just wants to keep fighting and even if he has all these memes against him, dude, at the end of the day, who you who you going to call? It's not the fucking Ghostbusters. You going to want you going to want your boy Goku to have your back. It like Top top anime pro tags in Shonen, Goku's always gonna be on that list for a good reason. Especially now, he might shit on just about any other Shonen freaking character at this point if he's got perfected Ultra Instinct in the back in his back pocket. Listen, all I'm saying is understand where we're coming from because in order if you if you want to keep Dragon Ball around. If you want to have it last as long as eternity, you need to make these changes. You cannot, cannot have the same character 
be in that role the entire time because it's one of two things you either let that shit happen and then it gets boring and then it then it just dies out in a bad way or you end the shit and then that's the close to the entire story and then all we have are like fucking video games and the fan mangas that's it so if you want Dragon Ball to last and you want it to be good, that's the thing. You, we want a very well written and well thought out story to enjoy, to discuss, to entertain ourselves by. And the fact is, like, there's always going to be more enemies. There's always going to be, you know, badass villains. But Goku cannot be the one to answer these calls anymore because he's been doing he do he's been having that shit on his back for a long ass time. And it's not even it's not even that I'm saying he's done it all. Like as far as like he's the one that has stopped all everything. But he's definitely had his hand in everything as well. Like thinking back, it's like who defeated Raditz? Piccolo. But Goku held him back, held Raditz so that he could do the freaking special beam cannon. Freaking, he 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 was able to what defeat Vegeta before they had to go to Namek, and then by the time they get to Namek and the big bad fight happens with Frieza, Goku was the first to defeat him, didn't kill him, but Vegeta's freaking son from the future cleaned it up with the Mecha version. But Goku was there, he was ready. I mean, he he was right there. He had Super Saiyan ready to go with the Yard Rat outfit. And fast forward a little bit more. It's like this guy took out the, the androids and shit. I was gonna say, well, watch, watch Goku let Moro escape, and then we get Future Trunks in ten more years to come finish the deed on Moro. <laughs> Dude, you know what's crazy, man? It's a shame how. Oh my god. Trunks is. It seems like Trunks is just gonna be like more than his dad, even though his dad right now has like the the stronger power-ups and all that shit but it's like it's not yeah, like yeah. it's not like trunks can't ever get to that because my man literally was 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 leaking god aura i don't care what anybody says he was leaking that shit why he have a blue aura around his ikari rage form i don't care <laughs> that shit like come on he was he was pushing it he was pushing it very hard you know give trunks a little bit of guidance this guy is your next Super Saiyan God. He's your next Super Saiyan Blue. He, you know, he's all those things, and he needs to be because he's the he's the only one they got in his timeline right now. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give everyone a little treat by throwing this and saying that, you know, what, what what we're looking for is for the torch to be passed. You know, Goku to take the fucking nosebleed section back seat and not do anything. You know, we don't care if he's a mentor or anything, whatever, but. We just don't want him to actively be involved in all these fights anymore, right? Right. So, we want the torch to be passed. It's got to go to someone. It's got to go to someone capable. And Goku just learned how to control emotions so that he can get stronger. <laughs> You're funny. All I'm saying is where's Broly? Look, I know you did that for me. I know you did, and I and I appreciate that, and I respect that because you know you're, everyone knows. But you you know that you know that while I did do it for you, I still <laughs> like to think with logic. That's true. And uh, where's Broly? <laughs> I said that that story was coming at a later date. It's almost that time. I'm at yo low key. All right, here, here hear me out. Here's here, here's how I kill two birds with one stone. And <laughs> here's how I kill two birds with one stone. Okay. Imagine, oh no! Imagine here's here's a scenario I'm sure nobody has thought of. Okay, this is a this is a fucking full power a podcast. Original, right? Yeah, exclusive, exclusive, exclusive. <laughs> right? <laughs> this, this John is about to, this is about to hit hard. All right, so oh my god! So end of Z, we have Goku vs Oob World Tournament. We have Goku Oob flying off because Goku needs to start this training for Oob to bring out his full potential. But instead of where it picks off how we're used to seeing it in GT, instead of them going to the fucking like hyperbolic time chamber, instead nah. he goes 
to Vampa with Yo, Ub. And nobody's thought of that. And Goku has not just one, but two pupils, two Yo, students to teach. You cannot put a little malnourished slave up against Broly to try to train. But listen, how, how, like, what better scenario do you have? Like, I would love child abuse. No, 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 listen, I would love to see the the goku teacher arc where he struggles <laughs> stop, to, where stop, he struggles stop. to to now figure out how to teach somebody that has all the power but doesn't even know how to control it and then also teaching somebody that has the power doesn't even realize it yet that those two dynamics in one is a seller that shit's fire i dude I would amazing. like to say that it's so fire that it's actually never going to happen. <laughs> I would just like to point that out like blatantly right here and now. I'm telling you, it's it's too fire. It's never going to happen. It's too fire. It wouldn't happen, right? It's too right? fire for Dragon Ball. It's not. Yo, once upon a time, I also said that, uh, you know, Broly was so popular that I believe one day he was going to come back and look what happened. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, Akira Toriyama could do better. <laughs> <laughs> Facts, though. So, that's my thing. 